Hello, how are you? I hope you're having the most fabulous Monday ever. And yeah, I hope you had an amazing weekend. I'm just doing some technical things on this end of everything so everybody can hear me okay. All right, so this is Psychic Medium Tony G. And today I'm going to try to take as many callers as possible, help them connect with loved ones on the other side, as well as answer questions that they have. Now, if I call out your area code, please take me off of speakerphone and have a question or a connection ready. I, um, I'm typically a very patient person, but for the purpose of the show and people calling in, I kind of need you to be ready with your question or your connection. And if you're on speakerphone, I'm not going to hear you very well. Also, all the background noise of wherever you are, whatever you're doing is going to come through. This show does get aired on WSCS. So it will mess up the audio for the television show, too. Uh, thank you for joining me on YouTube. Thank you for joining me on WSCS. Thank you for joining me on all the venues that I'm on, Spreaker, um, every podcast out there. Thank you so much for joining in and listening in. If you would like to call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one on the other side, the number is... 845-277-9131. Okay. Yay. I finally remember my number. Um, two quick announcements. I started recording Create a Life You Love Again for WSCS, and it has a, a an entirely new format. I recorded the first uh, new format last week and it's up on YouTube and WSCS will be airing it soon. I'm sure of that. Um, and I'll be doing one of those a week, hopefully all things going well. Hey, Genevieve. I love Genevieve. She is like such a sparkly, beautiful soul. Um, she's one of my, my favorite, uh, I want to say one of my favorite Canadians. I have a, I have a few Canadian friends. She's one of my favorites. Okay. Anyway. Um, so, okay. So, uh, yes. So create a life you love. I did the first new format last week. Now in the past, I did this show and I did, um, interviews. I interviewed people on, um, how they created a life that they are in love with and passionate and purposeful about. But now I'm using the show to teach you how to get there. How do you get from where you are to where you want to be? Okay. And the first show was kind of an intro with some, some basics, a lot of basics in it. Um, and as we evolve in this show with everything, I mean, I have it formatted. I have enough shows, I think for a hundred years, probably. Um, as we uh, proceed with the show, the format should become one where we're going to hit uh, self-love, finances, career, um, other love, love with family, friends, and in relationships, and some little, little um, uh, uh, knowings, but a lot of channelings. I'll be channeling a lot on that show. And again, the format is a little bit different. I don't take callers, but I do talk about the the, the changes we need to make in our mind to get to where we want to be in our reality, okay? So one of the things that I said in the last show is you don't get what you want. You get what you think you deserve. And a lot of people 
would argue with me on that, but I'm going I'm going to just simply say this. Watch the show. Um, and go into your mind. And when you are thinking of something that you might want, ask yourself, do I believe I deserve this? And then just make the statement, I deserve better. Like it doesn't have to be from A to Z. It can just be A to A and a half. Just taking that half step, like I deserve better. I deserve better than um, whatever it is, What whatever it is. Okay, having said that, I'm going to go to the first caller. I would, again, say please make sure that you are not on speakerphone and have your question or connection ready. And real quick, I'm, I'm horrible at um, promoting myself, but really quick. So I've authored or channeled seven books and dun 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 here are six of them dun 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 um this is the latest book um and this is the one before nope two books ago and these books are poems they have pretty much the same name because i'm not very creative when it comes to making up titles for my books um, and they are available at Amazon.com. There's a link below. If you're watching on WSCS or listening, you can go to YouTube and watch live. You can subscribe on YouTube. So you'll be notified whenever I do Psychic Medium Tony G or Create a Life You Love. Okay, here we go to the first caller. And the area code is 313. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, fine, thank you for asking. My name is Sherelle, I'm calling from Michigan. Hey, Sherelle, how can I help you today? Hi, yes, I was just like messages from the other side. Okay, I need one, uh, can I please have the first name and relationship of a person you would like to uh, talk okay. with? Okay. I if, was, if there's a, I don't know if I want to talk to my brother or grandmother. So this time I'll go with my brother. His name is Calvin. Calvin. Okay. Um, okay. So Cal, Calvin's here. Your grandmother's here also. She's the first person I saw. She used to wear a oh. house coat. <laughs> she used to wear a house coat all the time, right? Yes. Yes, girl, she's here. She showed up in her house coat right away. She And I think I want to say this, but I don't want to bust your grandma out, but she used to wear like a wig sometimes. All the time. Okay, I was being kind about it, but she's pointing to her hair and I'm like, yeah, I don't think that's your hair. I think that's a wig. So I didn't want to bust, bust her out, but. Yeah, my mom or me. Me and my mom used to do her hair all the time where she used to just buy wigs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, so grandma's here for sure. Your brother Calvin's here. Your brother passed at kind of a young age, didn't he? He, but he. Yes, a few months, like four months. He okay. had a heart problem. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Now there's a third person here then. Yeah, thank you. There's a third person here. It's a, it's a male. He's. Um, I, you know, I'm going to tell you the two things I'm hearing. And if this is somebody who's familiar to you, okay. If it's not, that's okay too. So your brother Calvin's here, your grandma's here. And then this third male person showed up and this third male person is, um, he's a younger man. He's not a boy. He's a man, but he's younger. He has that. He has a nice build. Um, he's a good looking man. He's a good looking man, but he is here also. And I, he's right next to your grandma. So I feel like they, they this is a real, um, in some way there's, a, there's a relationship here in some way. Okay. So let's start with messages and okay. this person will probably, if it's relevant, will give me more information. If it's not, that's okay. So you, the first thing your grandma okay. wants to say is we're, meaning all of us, we're okay, we're good. What's important for you to know at this point where you, 
what you need to know is um, she's using the statement carry on, carry on, which to me is like a kind of like move on, but carry on, just carry on, just keep going, just carry on sort of thing going on. She also okay. wants to tell you, um, I, I, okay, so she's bringing up work, strategic, and, and carry on, carry on. Are you thinking of changing work or moving work? Or... Yes. <laughs> yes, okay. I am. Thank I just, you. Thank uh, I left my job, I was with years, I mean, I was going to be five years ago, and I started a new job in February, and I'm not liking it because I'm just I'm, I'm tired of the food industry wearing the hair net, no jewelry, no yeah. lashes, no nails, and I'm like, at what point where I'm, I'm a woman? Right. So I'm just really trying to get out the food industry and just I'm ready for a business woman kind of job. Yeah, and I start it, my own business. But oh okay. my goodness, that's what I was gonna say next. <laughs> that like you have. Okay, so you really need to listen to Create a Life You Love. I I was going to say, I wish I should have just said it, but you have, you know what they're saying is um, there are a number of things that you could do, a number of different businesses you could do. It depends on which direction you want to go. So if you want to go, let's just say into something with fashion or beauty, you could easily do that. Um, if you wanted to go in another direction, you could do that. Um, the, the main thing is to just jump. Don't, don't make excuses. Don't, don't be. I'm not, I've been applying. I've mm -mm. applied about 15 jobs yesterday. Okay. So, so what they're saying is um uh -huh. take what you have and start something on the side St like and your grandma's saying stop working for the man stop working for the man um, you know what and i've been telling that's crazy because it's confirmation I, that's all i've been talking about with my people that surround it but i'm tired of working for people i need to come on my own business yes and I've been trying to think of a side hustle or an internet, like what ways I can make my own money. And that's crazy because that's all I've been talking about. <laughs> okay, so they are they yeah. are giving you such a strong. But I don't have strong. no ideas. Okay, so Go one ahead. Of, one of the things that I'm getting for you that like there are several things that you could do easy. I mean, you might have to get some training um, for some of them, uh -huh. but. I think your business is not going to be a computer-based business. I think your business is going to be a person-to-person -person business, whether it be in the beauty industry or um, something like coaching hypnosis or doing some sort of beauty with people. You're going to do a person-to-person -person business, and you do have options. You're the type of person, but you're so good with people, and you're a really good listener. Um, yeah. But you're really a good, no BS person, too. Like, you'll say to somebody, okay, yeah. that all sounds good, but that's not that. You need to do this, this, and this. So whatever yeah. you do, you're going to, it's going to be a person-to-person -person business. It's going to be face-to-face, -face, whether that means on the computer or in um, the over the phone or in person. And you're going to be assisting people on their journey. So again, whether we go coaching, really? yes, Where do you, what, see that happen? you can do, I, I can give you some examples, but deep down, you kind of already have a feeling or a, there's something inside of you that, um, like, I, I'm just going to say three things here. People in the beauty industry are always okay. giving advice. So that's thing number one. Uh, coaches, even though sometimes coaches get like a overplayed name, um, coaches really just direct people in the right way. And, and um, hypnotists, any, any of these things would be amazing things for you. But you, and I cannot stress this enough, there's something inside of you that you already have that you can just start 
excuse the way I'm going to say this, you can just start telling people what to do and they'll just start doing it. Um, you have a Damn, good, really? yes, you have a way of inspiring people. That's the word inspiring. Now I do want to tell you once you have the confidence to do this, it's going to take off very quickly. Uh -huh. You just need to be in that space where you say, okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to work with my first person. I'm going to assist this person. And then from there, it's just going to go. I'm hearing your come up will be quick. Your come up will be quick. You just have to take that wow. first step. Um, now you said, you said something with beauty, right? In computers. Now, when you say that, what do I have? Where do I start at? Okay. So here's what I'm going like, to say to you. Makeup? I'm going to say this to you. I'm okay, going to say I'm they gave a couple of different examples. They said it could be beauty. Okay. It could be co it, uh -huh. anything where you're working one on one with a person. Now, for okay. more, if you really want to go in detail about this, we could do that in a private session. But I typically do like one connection or one question for each person that calls in okay. um i went a little over with you but here's what i'm going to tell you i'm sorry I'm so it's okay i know okay, no no ahead. no no it's okay i get it i get it 100 percent. here's what i'm going to tell you you inside of you you okay. already know you have a really good idea you already know like this is something you're passionate about. This is something you have a passion uh -huh. inside of you about. I think you already have an idea about it. So here's what I'll say is sit down and figure out, and this is the most important thing. What are you passionate about? If it's just talking to people and helping them on their journey, if it's, um, if it's um, helping people heal, if it's helping people with their hair or their makeup or their nails, whatever yeah. you're passionate about, that's where you're going to take your next step. And that's what's going to be the most important thing for you. Now, I'm going to do a clearing. I'm going to do a clearing of anything stopping or blocking us on our journey to our purpose. And we're going to clear that now. Whew. And here's the thing we often know what we love it's what we spend most of our time thinking about researching reading and doing we just have to apply that in a logical way in the world for us to be able to use um however we're going to use it okay that's that's t it's typically just that simple it's just that easy okay i'm gonna go to the next caller and the next caller is 415 hello 415 how are you today hi i'm great excellent uh, this is kate in california hey kate how can i help you um well i think a lot of what you said to her you know, applies as normal, but, um, so I'm, you know, renting a car to move a couple states and I kind of got freaked out when I saw the price of, you know, one way rental car okay. a little extreme. and I was going to go for five days and go slowly. And so now that kind of, I don't know, I just need to be talked down off the wall about, I, I do want to do this. It'd be good. And don't worry about the money. Okay, so you have to, money is an energy, okay? And yeah. our thoughts put us on uh, whatever frequency we're on for the day, week, month, year, okay? So if we're in that place of knowing we're making the right choice and going in the right direction, and by the way, you are, um, then we have confidence in our move and what we're what we're about to do and, and the key statement that they're using for you kate is 
the outcome or the reward has to be bigger than the what what you're sitting in right now. So if you can just keep yourself focused on the outcome or the end result, the reward of this, Got it. where you're going to be and not worry about um not worry about the the means to get there, right? So the it, short term. Right. I'm going to use a vacation yeah. for you and I think you're going to get enjoying. this. When we, I want to enjoy the meme. Right. It, now, here's a perfect example. Everybody wants to go on vacation and people want to travel and they want to go to beautiful places. And the cost of that is inexpensive. So people might book the airfare in the hotel and go, oh, my God, it's costing me this much. But when they get there, the pleasure of it, they know the pleasure of that vacation mm. is going to outweigh the cost of the vacation nine times out of ten that's that's just what's going to happen so you have to get in your state of mind that okay yes it is costing me this much but the reward of this is going to be more and i'm, I'm going to say something to you kate you the amount you're spending on this rental car is an unexpected amount but if you were spending it on something yeah. pleasurable you wouldn't give a happy hoo-hoo yeah you wouldn't. You wouldn't even be second guessing it. If you were booking a trip to Mexico and it cost this if much, if it was a plane ticket, yes, no, no. you wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't you, think twice. <laughs> it, you wouldn't think twice. So you're just caught up a little bit. We do that, right? Like I'll go out and I'll buy some beverages, and they're they're not in an yeah. inexpensive beverages, and I won't think anything about it because it's for me and friends, and and we're going to have a great time. Yeah, but then. I'll go, I'll look at something like something practical that I really don't want to spend money right. on. That's even less than that. And I'll no go, way. oh my God, why am I yeah. paying this much for this? Right? So it's what we, <laughs> it's that perspective in our mind. And if we can turn that around, right? If we can go, oh my God, it's going to be so worth it to rent this one way vehicle. I would pay more for right. airfare someplace. I would pay more for you know, whatever it is, a moving van, a moving van. Yeah. So I'm okay with this. And in the, the end result right. is going to be such a better thing. Um, don't. Okay. So somebody up above is saying, don't worry about pennies when it's going to rain dollars. Okay. Oh. So when you get to your new destination, you're going to have a lot more, you're going to be in this place energetically that is just more prosperous than where you are now, right? So when right. we get into a place that is working and open, oh, excuse me, and prosperous, we can then immerse into that energy and become more prosperous ourselves. Okay, so it's in the end, this is going to pay off. It's going to be such a great um, adventure. So right now, yeah. let's clear. We have financial fear. I get a yes. We're going to clear that for you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening. And that's a big one. Financial <gasps> fear is so yeah. huge because it really does encompass us. It really does make us think, you know, we all, oh, this is the second, the third clearing, folks. Everybody, today is such a good day. These shows are, this show is going to be yeah. so amazing. Okay. Great show. Um, we have a, a, mind, a mindset, a lack mentality. And that's not only with money, that's with everything. And I'm getting a yes on that. So for you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening, we're going to clear that now, that lack mentality. And we're going to clear it to prosperity and prosperous outcomes in everything, okay? So you can listen to the show and re-listen to it until you feel like you just get that solid yes or you don't 
uh, you don't feel the stuff going. Um, and sometimes even once we clear it, if something comes up, we can be like set back a little bit. So we want to re-listen to the clearing again. So please make sure that you're doing that because we don't want to be in that place of lack or those we're not in a place of lack. Everything exists in our mind. So in our mind is where the fear lives. And we bring that into our reality. So if we can get in that place where in our mind, we know, and I say this all the time, we are so divinely taken care of. We are so divinely provided for. We have always been taken care of. We will always be taken care of. Even when we don't know how things are going to work out, they just work out. And, and we have to embrace that. And the more we embrace that, the better things will work out for us. And the more we'll be in that space of building, 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 and having that prosperous, abundant knowing over over that fear and that 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 lack mentality okay kate thank you so much for calling i i'm gonna try to get to the next person because my time is running down the show on wscs is only 28 minutes so uh 267 267 how can i quickly Hi, help Tony. you today hey how are you i'm well how are you excellent my name is Crystal, hey, Crystal. Um, and I was wondering if I could possibly connect with my grandma. What's her first name, love? Lynn. Lynn. Did she? Lynn. I'm sorry? Lynn. Lynn. Okay. Did she at one point, was she kind of bigger at one point, like a, uh, and she had dark hair at one point? And she kind of was, um, well, I'm not going to describe that. Anybody watching on YouTube knows what I'm saying right now. I want to apologize for that. Okay. So she wants to say she loves you. She wants you to know she's with you. She does, um, the smell of lilacs is really, it's that little purple flower. And where I am, that only blooms in the summer. We only get them in the summer and only, um, once in a while. Now, I don't know if she used to wear like a perfume that was like this, but these, she's showing me these lilac, lilac or lilac flowers. And they, they can sometimes, I, I always see them as pink or purplish. She's showing me them as blue. So whatever this means for you, however, this comes for you. Um, she wants you to know that's one of her signs for you and another sign that she's around is and I'm going very quickly because I know I'm running out of time she wants you so I'm just giving you her signs for you how you know she's around you and one of them is the scent and again I hear like that lilac scent okay and the other one is a bird that is blue now I'm not going to say this is a blue jay because I don't think this is what a blue jay looks like but it's a smaller almost like I don't want to call it a finch either. It's a little, it's a bird that's blue. Um, and she wants you to, she's just calling it a bluebird, a bluebird, a bluebird. Uh, so whenever you see a bird that is blue or you have the scent, and even if it's a scent of like roses or old school flowers, you know what I mean? Like when I say old school flowers, old I don't want to say old time, but like those flowers we smelled so much as children, like everybody had lilac bushes when I was growing up or rose bushes. It's just not so much anymore. Anyway, okay. Um, okay. These are two of her signs that she's with you, but she wants you to know she's always with you and um, that she wants you to know there are there are a lot of other people up there. And they're all helping you walk this, walk this walk. <laughs>